Alright guys, they're playing Ilawi top lane on today's video. We're playing Ilawi versus Anessa's top in front of Ruins, running Grasp, Demolish, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Presence, and also Last Stand. This game we're going to have an awesome time because Ilawi, even after the change, is still the highest win rate, highest ban rate, highest play rate in the entire game. And it just doesn't seem to change. And it's actually quite funny. This is the most freest LP champion you can play in the entire game, literally. It is actually impressive to see Lowie being this wrong. And seeing such a little tiny change doing absolutely nothing. Either way, Nasus matchup is winnable for me, very winnable. It's just that he's gonna like hyperscale. That's partially the problem, but also that's really it. In general, I'm not really scared of Nessus players. Lots of people are scared about Nessus players, but I'm not scared about it. You can put me into a Nessus any day. If I have the right champion, I'll have a good time. Hmm. Getting free Ws. So the thing about Ilawi is that, is that the champion is supposed to be countered by dodging E's and stuff. But when you actually play Laoi, it's not just about your opponent dodging E, but they actively have to try and like dodge your uh, W2, because your W just does a crazy amount of damage. So yeah, it's 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 not really uh, it's not really a fair champ. Let's see if we can shove this too. I think I might have to go for a reset probably early. <laughs> this guy's not having fun, let me tell you. I'm probably gonna run it down. Oh! Oh! I was actually so happy to get that kill for myself. Because that would force... Um, I, I know like he didn't get the kill on me, because he actually didn't get to hit on me. But I would actually be happy to get that, because I would get the kill. Uh, he would get the kill on me. But uh, he would also lose like some a little bit of farm and it would force him to teleport. So the objective was actually really good. I just had to kill him. Actually, now it's in a bad spot. Really sad for me. But I was actually very happy to get that. Now, in terms of the meta builds, most of the people right now are actually building into Iceborne as the first item. But if you really look at the higher elos of the game, Iceborne is not actually something that people build all the time. Um, there's actually a new meta build rising up for Ilawi, and that is actually going into uh, Black Cleaver and Sundered Sky. So instead of actually going into Iceborne, you're basically directly going into a Black Cleaver and also Sundered Sky. It doesn't really matter which one you take first, because they both have very good stats in general. But I would advise... Black Cleaver wor always works. It just really depends. Okay. Well, it's gonna have to walk out. Otherwise, it's gonna be taking free damage. And we have a nice little ward over there. Hopefully not going to lose too much farm. <laughs> this Nessus is not even playing the game. He's playing my game. <laughs> it's so funny. Nessus is not really playing the game. He's playing against my mini game the entire time. It's actually so unfair. This champion is the most stupid champion you can play in the season. Like... Literally, such a free elo champion. So the only really th thing you have to do is just consistently hit your E and W. The champion really plays itself out for the most part. As weird as it sounds. Alright. I've got that reset. Um, the first item that we're going to be going into... I actually just want to showcase you for myself. I we're actually going to go into the Sun That Sky build. And then we're going to go directly into Black Cleaver. Let's go. Now the reason why Sundered Sky is such a solid item and the reason why everybody is actually building it at the moment is just because you can proc it so easily. And it also gives all the core stats you need. Attack damage, always appreciated, no matter what. HP is 
very important and ability haste is also very important because then you can actually spam your abilities especially your w nerfs and all the stuff even more and then if you go black lever you have even more ability haste so that's basically the idea behind it okay we're going to put the lane into a push because i can't hit my w very easily otherwise um Well, <laughs> it's absolutely incredible how the champion works, but it's really unfair. <laughs> well, I'm not hitting it this time, but I'll just hit it next time then. My teammates are fighting in the river. Kind of running out of mana a little bit, so we will have to find out a way to, to reset again soon. Nice, hitting the combo. Not hitting that one, basically max range. I'll just go back here because I have a little problem with my mana here, since I use my, uh, my ultimate. So let's run back to lane fast. Nice. Okay. I'm just asking my jungler if he can actually hold the lane for me. Okay, I'm just asking. Nice. I hope that jungle is going to hold my lane for me. Like, just holding the wave is fine. Just holding it. Yes. Yes. The dream jungler. Let's go, man. Perfect. I actually wrote it down to him to hold it, and he actually does that for me. The dream jungler, bro. I appreciate junglers like these. They, they, these are the junglers that like make you win lane even harder. Because if he just holds it, look, look at what happens if he holds it. So, uh, Nasus is forced to back off because I have item advantage, and I have got all of my stuff back. And Graves decided to actually hold the lane for me. So now. This wave is killing this wave, and it's actually pushing my lead really far. So when Nessus actually comes back now, I'll have an XP lead against him, and that's actually going to make me win the entire lane. Just for the fact that Jungler is holding it for me. That's really appreciated. So there's a second wave about to go down. And now we actually start pushing it. Ooh, that was kind of, kind of close. Let's see if we can get the push that we're looking for. Choke at this in bot lane, which is really good to know. I don't think I actually hit the Nessus. Just hitting it. That's all I need. Oh, I didn't try to dodge. I purposely hit my E in a way where I could actually hit it. Well, we're getting free damage off, basically. Hmm. Well, we're getting the damage off. Hey, I'm stuck in my... T I'm stuck in tower. I couldn't move for some reason. <laughs> I'm so lucky to be alive. The game really wanted me to... Get wrecked over there, because I couldn't move a single direction. Fortunately, I got to live. We got Sundered Sky right now. Nice. Very good. Uh, the next item we're going to go for is going to be Longsword again. We're going to be building specifically into the Black Lever. We got the Sundered Sky now, so we can just consistently hit my W on him. And look for ways to like proc my item. He's actually going into the Iceborn build. The thing about Nessus is that he's actually scaling. He has 114 stacks at the moment, so that's not really that much. I mean, he's got 144. But he needs time to scale. Wait a second. 
Nice. I find it funny that this thing cannot reach all the way over there. Like, the range is so OP at the moment. I have no boots. So we got some chasing to do. Well, this is very bad for me. I actually didn't hit anybody. Hmm. Whatever. I think that Nasus is still up here, isn't he? Yeah, he's actually still up here. I can just hit my E on him. There we go, that's gonna proc. Force it again, same like before. Draw him into the same spot. Cho'Gat's actually killing my uh, team at the moment. I'm gonna see if I can just hit another one. Proc it again. Still remains exactly uh, low. We actually not gonna kill him. I'll shove this one, and then we reset afterwards. Yeah. Oh, well, he backed off. So let's get the tower away. One point five k. Let's go ahead and go back. I'm uh, specifically going for Mercs. And we're also selling that so I can actually go into Ruby. I definitely want to prioritize Mercs because they have a Nessus, Cho, Oriana. Like they have loads, loads of uh, CC and a ton of AP. So Mercs is going to do a great job in this game. Maybe we can kill him with uh, with my jungler. Oh, nice QW. That one didn't hit. Guess we're still not getting in range. Got the wave. That's what I was looking for. Need to keep trying to progress versus Nasus here. So we're back. <laughs> Time to spawn all the tentacles. Just gonna keep on consistently hitting W. Hmm. Maybe having my Joner here would be really good. He's forced to play the game again. So my jungler can just walk up. He can force. He's still backing. Nice. Perhaps maybe another one. I'm not exactly sure, but let's find out. I can't believe how far we're getting, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> they can't play the game. <laughs> this champion is OP. It's literally OP, man. They have no chance. <laughs> this champion is the, the, like ever since the buff, you just don't die anymore. And if you get into like a two versus three, and you hit like a, a like a three man ultimate, including the clone uh, from your E, it's it's gonna proc so many tentacles. Like as soon as they go in and you hit one W, like their entire HP bar will just get deleted while being a tank. It is absolutely insane. 
But like the, the range from the tentacles that they buffed like around four patches ago has just been too broken. They tried like nerfing uh, some numbers, but the long range still remains. It's still really OP. Like you still hit everything. They can't really dodge. This might actually be a fight worth fighting for if my teammates actually get over here because the Camille is already low HP. Yeah. There you go. I think we can probably get another one because she will move in the tri-bush. Not actually away from me. There's four people. Don't know if we can do it. We're still missing one guy. Yeah, we only hit Q. Still need the MF, but the MF is also quite low. We should be able to buy Black Lever right now. I'm just waiting to... Uh, waiting to get my reset. Still seems to be more people. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back here. Okay. So, it's about time. We're going to be running off to bot lane. And... Let me just... Let me just let my teammates know that I'm going to be splitting bot lane. We're going to be wrecking bot lane absolutely apart right now. We'll see how it goes. Should be able to. Good one. Nessus is top lane chilling, stacking. Sure, have fun. We still don't have Iceborne yet, but I also don't think that we get into a point where we need Iceborne. Okay, we can always build it. I'm not trying to steal it. Free hit. <laughs> Good luck playing my mini game again. Have fun. Oh, she's coming back. I can see it. All right, we're gonna go into probably Iceborne as a third. Or we go directly into a uh, Steric Gauge, which is actually a really nice alternative. That's not a chance, right? So it turns out there was actually Orianna right here, and I just couldn't see her. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna probably not build Iceborne and just go directly into Steric Gauge. We do already have Mercs, but I still like going for Steric Gauge actually. And I think maybe Iceborne is something we can build as a fourth. We can still go into Iceborne, but I think we're gonna go Steric Gauge. I just wanna follow the meta build for you guys. I wanna showcase it to you guys. Let's run mid. The guy still has... <laughs> the best part is that Dessus is still running frozen hard. And he, uh, he doesn't... He hasn't completed the Sheen yet. He still needs to finish Sheen. He's just really far behind. And how many stacks does he even have? He's got 333 stacks. I actually want to wanna one of you want him just to show you how strong Ilawi is. Because 300 plus stacks is actually quite a bit. Oh, I'm not getting more. Hmm. 
Okay. Not hitting another one. I think I might walk away from it just so I can push bot lane. Put that where it should be. That's a nice team fight again. Actually, I hit like a three. I hit three with people with my ult. I actually wanted to hit all five because I was planning on flashing into five people at once, but then I got CC'd. So it's not, it's not the most optimal ultimate that I hoped for. Uh, we could maybe catch Jinx. I'm not sure if... Procked it at very least. Got my ultimate ready. He is such a powerful tool. Even in teamfights, he can just poke people so hard with it. Because if you hit the clone... That's really all you need. And then your whole team can just hit the clone and then it's going to do an insane uh, large amount of damage. Until it fully procs. That, that's why you max E2. Like, it's the main reason behind it. Oh, I'm not hitting that. I still have plenty of mana left. There's actually... A lot of vision here. Let's walk up to Dragon. Hmm. Yeah, so the next objective is definitely going to be a Baron. We can definitely fire for that too. Same way like we've done here. Go for a bit more ability, hey, so we can spam slightly more. Always useful. Nessus is still farming top lane. He doesn't actually have the Trinity yet. He has 470 stacks, but doesn't actually have the, the Trinity. Not bad. I don't know where he's going. I suppose he ran all the way back. That makes a lot of sense. Let's grab the next wave too. Show us up there. Nice. I guess my teammates already got him. Push this out. Oh, we're about to get free catches. My E doesn't get in range. Yeah, the game is over. Last game. They have two people left. And I can tank a lot. Yep. Wait, it should... Wait a second. Oh, we can keep going infinitely. Okay, we're reaching a point where it gets quite scary. We gotta run. We're like worth way too much. Yeah, let's run for it. Make sure to get that one at least. We should probably start to prioritize the Baron before the next team fight because then things will just get way easier. Let me quickly get Iceborne. Yep, let's go. 
So before we truly end the game, we need to actually go into Baron because Baron uh, gives us the buff to be able to push mid again. And also, we just actually killed Oriana thanks to my team. Nice. That basically means that it's 5 against 4. That should be a Baron. We can just start it immediately. Yep. Free Baron. Let's go. The game will end right here. Super fast Baron 2. We have way too much damage. Especially Graves, man. That build that he's running has so much damage to it. It's like one W. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Goodbye, buddy. This is why Baron is so important. Anyway, this is Ilawi Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's Ilawi video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.